Right, so, a good way of trimming nails. These ones have been done, but we don't want to make it a traumatic experience. So what I normally do is, like, because this one's one of mine, so it lives indoors with me. But what I'll do, because normally it's a very skittish thing um, and can be very, very skittish, but a good way to do it is literally start off with lots of fuss like this and lots of head rubs because this this keeps them a lot more reassuring. And then if you get them, it, this is the easiest way I find is to get them on your arm like this. Now if you see, now that foot is literally on my hand. So what I can do now just hold that get the clippers i don't need to do them so i can't really do it but then you've got the back leg done and literally just seems like a fuss give a bit of a fuss like that knit honestly this is a skittish guinea pig this really skittish guinea pig one of the skittish, most skittish guinea pigs i have and as you can tell because of how she, how we we we're, we're making it very fussy and calming there, we're getting a lot a much better reaction. So again, I'm just gonna turn around and pop on this arm. Again, you can give a little fuss. Just have that calming effect. Let them know that it's a good thing, and then again, you can sort of this this side. I feel because this is my good hand, so I'm not, she's on my fat roll there. But then you can get, I mean, he's on my fat roll. <laughs> but um, sorry, calling you a she, but you're a he. But then you can sort of get there, and then. See, we're having a bit of a wriggle now. So we're just going to give a little fuss again. Make it so that it's not a big deal. Lovely little fuss. And then for the front, I just face them away. Have a little head rub. Make it all about the fuss. All about the fuss, not the nail clipping. And then grab. Put my foot under like that. And just little leg there let them get comfortable calm like that grab that foot there's that foot and then you can literally just you'd have to lean over sort of thing but then you can literally do 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 and then and then we can little fuss again loads of fuss because as well as that the fussing is making it a positive experience and it will make it easier for them and again, we can do the same with this such this side just on my lap there. We can literally just grab that foot there with the right hand because you've got to use the hand. See, we're getting a little bit restless. So, because it's if if you notice they get a little bit restless, you can just take a second, just give them another fuss, turn it into a positive experience, and then. Do, 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 do. And that's how I do it, with, especially with mine. Um, if I need it to be quick and I haven't got time and if they are fidgeting, obviously you, as a pet owner, you don't, you tend to have a lot more time, so you don't need it to be quick. So you can do all this, fussies, fussies, fussies. Oh, look at that lovely fuss. Oh, lovely fuss. But you can see how it, it for a skittish guinea pig, it's actually a very nice experience now because we're turning now clipping into a nice experience rather than um, being, you know, a, a, a scary experience, so to speak, for them. So that, that this is definitely how I'd recommend for any pet owner to do it but your your key is definitely that for the on the arm 
for the back legs and then facing forward and just getting those front feet in that hand and then you can kind of sometimes their little head gets in the way though doesn't it yes so if you can give them a little fuss like this and then sometimes they'll let you just quickly keep your head out the way or that now actually does need a little trim and then you can give it a trim like that there we go oh so cute though look at this little furball <laughs> Yeah, good piggy, good piggy. You're actually a lot more more relaxed than I thought you was gonna be. <laughs>